Hey guys, welcome back. Um, it's been a while since I posted a video. We've been busy. We've been, we have gone out, but we've gone out to the same places we normally go. So I didn't want to make it repetitive. Um, about the same places all the time. So I chose not to record. Um, plus, the last time we went out, uh, Red Tide, that was it wasn't a pretty sight. So I didn't want to record that either. Um, but I've been asked plenty of times how do I stay in the boat overnight um, I'd love to stay overnight which is why I got a walk around boat now granted I have a 20 feet pro line walk around it's a 2002 so it's not a big boat doesn't have all the amenities that you would like to have but um just trying to make the boat more comfortable I got a few things that help me to make the overnight stay more efficient, more comfortable. So one of the things that I did get was a inverter generator. Um, there's my generator. I don't have it running right now just for the purpose of the video, but normally that's how we'll set up the generator. I will hook up the extension cord that goes to the cab and I'll show you why that's for in a minute. Um, as you saw, I have a blue water tank that's seven gallons of water and that's for the shower setup um yes i do have a setup for shower with hot water and i'll show you guys a trick for that here in a minute but first let me uh just give you a quick tour so like i said it's a 2002 pro line 20 walk around um it's my second boat did by use so one of the things that i did i don't have a hard top i have a just a bimini so i went ahead and went online and got this bimini extension um hooks up to the fishing poles on the back also hooks up to the bimini um it does kind of slack here in the center a little i'll find a way to fix that um but that's that back here for now inside remember that extension cord that i show you that was running across well, this is why. I have an 8000 BTU AC unit. Um, I just turned it on so it's still warm in here. But normally I could get this cab down to 65, 62 degrees. Now, the tricky part that I had with the AC was how was I gonna vent out the exhaust? Originally, I had the exhaust sticking out the door, but then the door would stay partially open. Um, so it didn't really keep the cold in here, so the AC was constantly running. So therefore, the generator had to work more often. So again, on the gas, I was getting about six hours on the generator just running the AC. Then sat down, started thinking, wife gave me an idea she said why don't you use one of the portholes and i said a porthole window hmm. how am i going to do that so sat down and started thinking how am i going to do this this is how i did it so what it is it's six inch tubing from the ac comes out goes into this piece that i got at local home depot now this i I made that from a lid from the plastic totes. I had a lid that didn't fit one of the totes and I said, you know what, probably make good use of it. So that's how I came up with that. Now that's my sleeping arrangement. Now, as far as, as far as nighttime and how we shower, um, I'm gonna hand the camera over to my youngest He's with me this weekend, so he's going to help me out. And I'll show you how I set up for um, for the for the nighttime. So for the shower, got this over on Amazon. Um, it's a change tent, changing tent. Um, the reason why I got it is it has no floor. Since the floor, the boat drains overboard. Um, I didn't really need a floor, so it just opens up like so. Now with 
content open, you have some privacy. Now I said earlier, hot water. So what I do, I got myself what they call a bucket heater. This is a 1500 watt bucket heater. Now my generator is 2500 watts, so it runs it with no problem. And so I'm just over 50% load on the generator, which is okay. So what I do, I drop this. Inside my water tank, I will run it with the generator for 10 15 minutes. Um, obviously, depending on the temperature of the water at the time, how hot I want to get it. Once that's done, I'll, I'll unplug it. This is a 12 volt shower. I will take the water pump, drop it in. Plug this side to my cigarette lighter and I have a shower. Hot water. Alright, so how we set up for morning and uh, lunch? I do have this small foldable table. Um, I fold it, put it aside, it doesn't take a whole lot of space. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. That's my overnight setup on the boat. Uh, so, I showed you the AC, I showed you the generator on um, my shower setup and that's all in 20 feet of boat i hope you guys enjoyed the video and just remember like and subscribe so you catch you guys in the next video